Hi, and thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and consider other important aspects of being self-employed, working for yourself, running your small business. So um, today I'm going to talk about simplified um, expenses claiming for your um, for your business. And before I go on to that, if I could please ask you to take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information should you need to, as well as being able to access other information that we have available on a whole um, wide range of topics, all aimed at supporting you in your self-employment. Also, if I could ask if you um, watch a video that you find um, informative or helpful, if you could please also like that video because that helps us to gauge um, which topics um, to prioritise when we're answering your questions and which people the most people are finding helpful. So on then to simplified expenses. So we've touched on this in other videos, um, but I just wanted to talk about this in more detail. So as we know, um, to claim an expense um, for our business, i.e. to reduce our profit, to claim against the income of the business, the expenditure, the cost that we've incurred needs to be wholly and exclusively for business use. Now, of course, a lot of a lot of the um, audience that will be watching um, our channel, and this um, applies specifically to sole traders and um, partners, I should mention. If you are trading as a micro entity, then simplified expenses does not um, apply apply um, to you in the same in the same way. Um, but in any case, if you have if if there is a cost that you incur, but you're um, also incurring that cost on a personal level um, as well. So you're kind of sharing the personal resource with your business, because, of course, if you are a sole trader or a partnership, then there's no separate um, you're not a separate entity, you and your business um, are the are the same so if you're sharing um, resources then of course that has to be accounted for and if um, if there's some personal use then of course um, you can't claim the full cost you have to account for the fact that you're having personal use and therefore not claim for that element so there's some things where that can be quite complex um, to do and um, that applies um, for using your vehicle and using your home are the sort of the biggest um, that, that that become very complicated now there's no reason if you wish to that you cannot um, continue to um, keep a track of all of the costs so let's think about using your um, vehicle um, so you've got a car that's your own car that you use for your personal use to go and see your friends, to go um, on days out, to go and do your shopping, to run your errands. Um, that That is your personal car. But you also use that car um, for using your um, for your for your business purposes as well. So there is um, some element of the cost of running that car. Um, that are attributable to your business and you can quite um, legitimately claim those against the income from your business to reduce the profit. So um, what you can do is keep a, um, keep a record of all of the costs that you incur and all of the mileage that you do in the car and which is for personal and which is for business and then to compare um, to compare the two and to split the costs on the same um, on the same percentage in effect that the um, business private mileage um, shows and that is one way to do it that can be very um, that can be a very big job um, to do not so much keeping the um, keeping the costs although um, fuel receipts do tend to go um, astray so actually keeping all of the costs for the car can be um, can be a big job, but then also keeping the mileage records, you've got to remember every time to record the journey, whether it was private or, or business in order to be able to correctly apportion. Um, and of course you could, um, um, you know, you could sort of like make estimates 
um, of the of the percentage, for example, but you do need to be able to justify um, that. So you will need to have um, retained some evidence of why you've decided those um, percentages, which needs really to be based on mileage records. And if your work is seasonal, of course, then that will need to have been done for a whole a whole a whole year. Um, so it can be very um, time consuming. Uh, it can be very difficult. Um, can be a lot of a lot of work to 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 um, to keep all of those records that you need, and then also to actually do the calculations to add add everything up and do the calculations. Um, and um, so another way to do it is to do um, simplified expenses. Um, which means that you just claim uh, mileage allowance for the business use. So that covers all of the use of the car, not just the fuel. So you then don't claim any costs of running your um, car through your business. You just, for all of your business mileage, claim a flat um, percent um, um, pence per, per mile, uh, which is currently 45 pence per mile up until 10,000 miles. And then that drops down to 25%, um, 25 pence. And um, you can also claim mileage for motorcycles at a, at a lower um, at a lower rate. Um, so this, of course, is um, much simpler. Hence the name simplified expenses, because you just need to keep a record of your business um, mileage and um, and claim that um, as a, as an expense. Um, and, and also, depending on how on the level of the costs that we're talking about for the running of the car and the amount of business use, it can actually be more tax efficient um, as well. So um, one thing that's important to mention is that once you have decided which way to um, to go for each vehicle, you need to stick with it. So you can't do simplified expenses one year and then um, and then full cost the next year for a vehicle. So if you have. Um, two vehicles, perhaps in the household, you have two vehicles and um, personal vehicles that you use for business use. And sometimes you use one, sometimes you use the other. So you're keeping the records of both of them. It could be that for one vehicle, you do full cost for the other vehicle, you do simplified. So you can you can mix it up um, sort of sort of um, horizontally. Um, but going forward for each vehicle, you have to use the same method as you've chosen um, from the um, from the from the start, um, so so that um, as I say, so sometimes even if it's um, you know sort of perhaps it saves you a, a small amount on the um, on the tax because you have high costs and you have a high um, business use of a vehicle, um, then again you need to weigh up how how much extra time you're spending and how much tax you're saving. So for example, if it's taking you ten hours. Um, to to collate all of this information and and make all the calculations and then it's saving you 20 pounds in tax then um, of course that's not worth um you know that's that's not worth your time your time um has has a value um too um so um the other method you the other um thing you can use simplified expenses is use of your home so this is a question we get asked a lot is i work from home and um, particularly in more recent times of um, rising energy costs, it's something that that's something that people are starting to think about that perhaps haven't thought about before. Um, I do do some work at home, and um, can I claim anything um, for that? Um, so again, you can um, you can assess the full costs. Um, so all of your utilities, mortgage, um, interest only, I should say, not capital on the mortgage. And payments, um, rental payments, all of those costs added up, and then a portion to the to the uses use of the um, home for business. So, say for example, if you are um, providing administrative service and you are working full time at home, and you have a room dedicated um, for your um, for your business, then this can be easier to um, to apportion because you're just looking at how many rooms you have. And taking a percentage for the for the amount and taking that of each of the of the costs. Um, but say, for example, if you have a um, a spare room that you use as an office and a spare room, so there is some personal use of that room and um, and some um, and some business use, then you need to further apportion that room for the time 
um, that's used. So again, it can become very complex. So you may choose to use the simplified expenses. And um, this is basically a flat um, rate that you can you can claim. But you don't need to keep all your bills to justify it. Um, and it depends on how many hours um, you are actually working. So um, to decide the simplified expenses and the flat rate, you can claim for working from home costs. So again, to um, avoid having to calculate all the costs and then apportion the business to personal um, use. Um, so it depends on how many hours that you're working. So you need to be working at least 25 hours um, a month um, from home to be able to claim anything if you're not working um, that many hours um, from home at, or at home, then you can't claim anything under the simplified expenses. Um, but 25 to 50 hours a month, you can claim a flat rate of £10 a month. Um, 51 to 100 hours a month is £18 a month and 101 hours or more um, a month um, is a flat rate of £26 a month, which um, works back to £6 a week. Um, so those are the um, the flat rates that you claim. So you work out um, how many weeks or months that you have um, worked at, at home during the year. And then you include that as in, in your expenses um, to take off of your of your sales, your income, your turnover to, to before you come to your um, profit. Um, so that's another. So that's the next way that we use um, simplified expenses. So we've got it for um, and, pers and business use of your personal vehicle and um, working from home. And then the other one to touch on, which won't necessarily be relevant to a lot of people, but if you are um, working in your place of business, so for example, um, if you run a B&B &B, um, or if you um, run a pub and live in the pub, then um, this would um, be relevant to you. But again, remember we're talking about um, sole traders and um, partners. Um, so, of course, if you are um, running a b, b but you're living in it, then the, the b, b is your business. So, of course, all of the costs are your business costs, um, but you are personally having a benefit of living there because you don't have to pay your own um, house running costs because you, you're actually living in your business premises. So it's kind of like the opposite of working from home. It's actually living in your um, living in your business. So in this scenario, you claim the business expenses um, in full as you've paid them, but you um, you actually make a, a reduction of those expenses for your for the personal use. So rather than when you're um, working from home, you're actually claiming an expense for your um, for your business use of your home, but personally you're paying for all of your home costs. This way, the business, if you're living in the business, the business is paying all the costs but you are reducing those. And again, you can either work out the exact um, amount or especially in this scenario, far more simply is to, um, is to work on the simplified expenses. So again, it depends on how many people are living in the business premises and for each person, and there's a scale and a set amount that you deduct on a monthly basis for living in the business um, premises, and that accounts for your um, personal use of the of the business without you having to make any further um, adjustments. And in the description for the video, I'm going to pop the link um, on gov.uk for the um, simplified expenses um, section, and um, which will explain everything. If there's any questions on anything that I've talked about, um, or if you you need to check on the rates. Um, etc. That's all there on gov.uk and I'll just pop that in the um, description. So hopefully this helps you to see how simplified expenses can be a useful tool. As I say, it's not compulsory. If you feel that in your scenario, you're better off um, to, to, um, to claim and to calculate the full cost and a portion for the personal um, or business use, depending on the um, scenario, then that's absolutely fine. Just remember that once you start off on one thing, um, on one method, you have to stick with that for that. So for for um, 
for vehicles, for example, you have to um, per vehicle you stick stick with the method you've chosen. But if you use a different vehicle, you can choose a different method for working from home. Um, you always must stick with that method. Um, for, unless if you moved home, then you could. That would be a, a justification for changing methods if you felt that was appropriate. And again, for living in your business premises. Um, so you need to be just consistent with the methods that you choose. Um, but but simplified expenses can um, ensure that you can actually claim some um, some tax relief for your um, for your business use of your personal resources or for the um, conversely for actually living in your business premises if you if that is your scenario um, without having to spend a lot of time or putting a lot of effort into keeping a lot of complex records and then having to make the calculations at the end of the year. So hopefully this um, this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Goodbye.